G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna have another go at a boom bloom and I've got my tape this time. I'm gonna put some tape to the underside of my tile just so it doesn't move too much while I spin. I just fold it over like that and pop that down and then see if that's equal. Pop that on. Mm, this side needs to come up a little bit which means just move it over a touch. Sometimes you just have to move it over onto your spinner a little bit more because one side might sag a bit. So that is perfect. Right. Now I'm going to do blues with this one. Uh, this one was a sample sent to me, so I actually don't know what colour that is, but it looks like a teal. Uh, cassowary blue, and I've got some black. This one's a shimmery one, pearlescent teal and Mally ring neck blue. So sort of blues and turquoise. I, I've only really got the one blue um, that Cass sent me. And I'm gonna put some black in there as well and use my white cell activator. Now, where's my gloves? I'm using the same dirty gloves that I wore last time. So just excuse that, but we need to conserve the gloves, don't we? So I'll pop them back on. And get a few pores out of them we can you know wash our hands with gloves on and reuse these babies yeah, but hard to come by at the moment gloves are right now, let's put down our pillow so this if you haven't been watching me do these bloom booms <laughs> i got it backwards these boom blooms <laughs> then um yeah i've just been trying out the bloom the boom gel stain with my usual um, bloom technique because I did the Shelly Art bloom course um, and I'm just seeing you know if other products work with the pillow paint which is this one and then the cell activator which goes on top so in between you know there's different recipes for pouring mediums and paints that you can use but this is really easy so i'm just going to have another go at these All right so that one and it's nice little flip lid there i like that <clears throat> i've only got the one blue as i said and the others are a little teal so i need, need to add a little bit more of the blue some black not too much black, you don't want it taking over. I like that colour. That's a shimmery one, so that should look really pretty. This one's a little bit more of a duller colour. A duller colour. Um, let's put a little bit more black on there. Some more blue. Like that. And... A little bit more of that one. A little bit more of that one. And last but not least, a little bit of that one again. This one's a little bit more green. I'm going to leave that out. One, one uh, I think is enough of that one. Okay. Let's get back, back to the middle. Pour on the cell activator. Just a little amount like that and you can see it's see it's changing color it's going to go in a little bit fuzzy so it should work well straight down first into the white and then turn your blower and push the white over your puddle until you see that those cells appear. As soon as you see them appear, stop. Otherwise you're gonna overstretch them and they're gonna be ugly. As soon as you see that happening, that's when you need to stop. I always have trouble with the last little bit, but that's okay. Those colors look amazing. 
See, I kind of blew it a little bit too far there. See how I kind of got that longish shape because I've overblown my lacing. But wow, that is really pretty. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to have trouble here, that area there. I'm going to put, I'm just going to see if I can blow with my little barbecue blower into there. Not to create any lacing, but just to move the paint over a little bit. So there's no reason why you can't do that. You know, you can, you can blow over here and push your paint out. No reason why you can't do that. You know, if you're worried about getting over the corners, you can do that. But I've got plenty of paint. Um, I'm going to spin it and it should work beautifully. Look at that. Make sure you've got enough of your puddle so that, you know, once you've spun once or twice, you're pretty much done. Wow, look at that. Little corner there that I can still spin off. And, of course, you know, the more you spin, the, the more you open up your, your lacing. Go the opposite way just to turn everything back into a round because you've gone that way and might have gone that way and then you go that way and it just straightens it all up, eh? Wow, that's really pretty. Look at that. Got a little bit of like a grey looking in there, which is really nice. Because I don't have a grey or a silver. And so but the black is making like this silvery colour. I might go again just to get some of this off here. That looks like Payne's grey there. So yeah, make sure that your, your puddle of colour in the middle is big enough. Um, otherwise, you know, if you've only got a little bit of puddle in the middle like, like this, you're not going to spread it to the corners. Alright, I'm going to leave it like that. Love that. Wow. I'm glad I can still see the blue because I only had the one blue and I had three of the, the sort of teal colours. And there's a pearlescent in there and it really shines. I don't know if you can see it. I don't even know if I can pick it up. But look how the black has stayed separate in there against that white. That's really pretty. All right, I'll take it down for a close up. Get my gloves off. Actually, I probably don't need to get that glove off. I just need to get the one glove off, don't I? How pretty is that? Having fun with these. I can just whack out like so many pores in like an hour because I don't have to stop and mix paint. Oh, was that the pearlescent I just saw glistening? Oh, yeah, look, there it is. I can kind of pick it up a little bit, how it's shimmering. That was that one. Focus. Oh, you're doing a good job focusing. So, yeah, it's picking up that. And that was that little bit of the greyish area I was telling you about. That's really pretty. I like that. So I'll turn the light off. I'll show you a true, a bit more true colour over here in the corner. It's just got this little shimmer right through, hasn't it? You can see a little bit of a shimmer shimmer. Love that corner there. Look at the different shadings. So um, I've got room on my little drying cookie cool cookie cooling rack there for another one so I might do another one because I've just done these two that one and that one and I've still got a little bit of room 
So I'll put one more on the corner there on the left. I can actually do one more and put it on the right and then that's done. There's those two Arteza ones that I did with the Arteza pre-mixed paints. Still worked really well, but the only difference is we're getting, with the Arteza, we're getting like a fuzzy kind of a, a look in some of the paints. See in the middle there, it's a bit fuzzy. Whereas with these ones, the lacing is nice and straight and bold. Okay, <clears throat> back to this one. Uh, what colours will I do next? Mm, greens? Yeah, I guess I'll do greens. Alright, uh, thanks for watching again. <laughs> and um, stay safe. I'll see you real soon for the next one. Okay, bye for now.